Welcome back. As the Irish farmer struggles to increase farm income, many have chosen to diversify using their raw product. Limerick-born siblings Mary and Donny Curtin, together with their father, dairy farmer Sean, have brought a chocolate-flavoured milk to the market, which they believe could be the next brand leader. We grew up on a, on a pedigree dairy farm in County Limerick. My father always talked about adding value to the milk. So yeah, we decided to look into a product and uh, chocolate milk was one that we, we wanted to look into the feasibility of doing it. And so we're still going today. Farmers have been getting a raw deal for years with the price of milk. So this is a great way of adding value also to the milk. Uh, farmers, you know, they, they get pennies for what they do and they don't really get a say in what they're pay being paid. And uh, it's tough, like and we've, we've grown up seeing the frustration of our father. So, you know, just that's a huge motivation for us. Any questions on figures and things, you take that. I think with this business, it's probably brought us closer together. Nice and slow and all right, that's the key. Certainly with, with our father, you know, we're really working side by side. It's really exciting. Hello, Dragons. My name is Mary Curtin, and this is my brother, Donny. We're from Temple Dairy, who manufacture a healthy and natural, high protein, chocolate milk drink. We are an established trading business supplying over 40 Super Value and Sintra stores. And through the Super Value Food Academy, we are currently closing out finalities of a central distribution deal with Musgraves. Dragons, we are looking for 100,000 euros for 20% equity. Our farm, family farm produces around 800,000 litres of milk per year. And our experience growing up was of our father's frustration at low milk prices. Mary and I have always had a big passion in sport. Mary's actually represented the Ireland's women's national soccer team and has 45 senior international caps. So as an athlete, I was aware of a growing popularity in fresh, low-fat chocolate milk and other flavoured milks being used now as a sports recovery drink. We have found that the ones in the Irish market are competitors. They've either been loaded with sugar or artificial ingredients. So we made the product with the athlete in mind. The product has five ingredients only, and in every 500 ml bottle, there are 20 grams of protein and 50 grams of carbohydrate, making it suitable as a sports recovery drink. And we are delighted to announce that Munster, an Irish international rugby star, Keith Earls, has come on board as Temple Dairy official brand ambassador. Mary and Donny are asking the Dragons for €100,000 for a 20% share of Temple Dairy. As the siblings hand out samples, will the Dragons believe in the value of this growing market? Hi, Donny. And you get on with Mary, do you? Because, you know, if growing up my sister was a better footballer than me, <laughs> I, I'm not sure I'd be happy about that. But you've had counselling, you, you've dealt with that. <laughs> yeah, growing up, she used to put the ball underneath my legs a lot, so I get frustrated. And She'd nutmeg you, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But how did you bag Keith Earls? We got a phone call from the Munster nutritionist and they wanted our product as one of their sports recovery drinks. And... OK, Keith Earls goes to the sports nutritionist for Munster Rugby saying, who are these guys? This is, this is the best chocolate milk I've seen around. Yeah, he doesn't normally put himself out for commercial stuff, really. Like, he's, he's a quiet guy. He's just wanted to get involved, and he's just been a great guy. And, um, yeah, it's a great just... endorsement, because you're right, everybody knows Keith. He, 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 you know, he, would be a quiet, he does his talking on yeah. the pitch, you know? Yeah. So that he's actually endorsed your product. Yeah, wow. like, it's great. Thank you very much, Donny and Mary. That was very good, and it tastes lovely. Thank you. Cheers. Um, is it just the athlete's market that you're going for? We made the product with the athlete in mind, but we also wanted to make it suitable for kids. We know that there's a lot of kids drinking flavoured milk, so there's definitely a gap in the market for a healthier flavoured milk range. Say, for instance, you were to include this in a child's lunchbox, what is the percentage of protein that a child is supposed to eat at that time of the day? This is a natural product, um, so like we haven't put in artificial proteins in. We haven't added proteins yes, to this. Yes, I understand it's, that, but... And there, there's 10 grams in a small bottle. Um, OK. So, like, the, the thing about this is we've made it as natural as possible. Like, with the protein powders and things, where do they get, you know, they extract, extract the, the, the powders from the milk. So, you know, why not get it fresh? Why not get it natural? What's your selling price? Yeah, so we're selling on the shelf at 195. That's the recommended retail price for the 250 ml bottle. Okay. And okay for the 500 ml bottle, which we have right here, the RSP price for that is 295. How does that price compare against your closest competitor? The 250 ml bottle would be one euro 17 cents more expensive, 
and our big battle it would be one euro 70 cents more expensive. Just to clarify the figures, so you're 195, so your competitor is 78 cents. Yeah. Okay. And have you had feedback from the stores that you are too expensive? Yeah, we have one big competitor, especially, but they know that we don't have mass production, that we're only in 40 stores. I think people buy into the story as well that, you know, it's, it's a, a local artisan product. Of course, we get the odd, um, odd complaint that the price is too high, but like generally, like it's, it's really good feedback. A price gap is one thing, but this is, this is a price canyon. So your nearest competitor, are they a fresh milk or are they a UHT? Uh, fresh. Okay. I was actually hoping you'd say it was a UHT. There is another competitor yeah. that is UHT, but our taste is talking. Yeah, but for the bottle to sit on the shelf and you look and see 195 versus 78 cent. Yeah, you, you've it's got It's a golf. We talk about margins a little bit. Just want to test how much room there is to maneuver on the price point. Just maybe give me your gross and net margin projections for the next few years. So our growth projections for 2017, it's uh, 2010, it's 200,010. 210,000? 200. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty good yeah. gross margin. I mean, you have room to manoeuvre on price and still keep a healthy margin. I suppose, like, knowing when we did come up with our, our price points, um, we, we would have based it looking at the juices and so the, the premium juices on the market at the moment. That's kind of where we see ourselves. In a way, this reminds me a little bit of the Glenillen brand. Yeah. So they started on the farm and are still on the farm, but they've developed a very extensive range yeah. of different dairy type products. Have you plans to do anything similar? We'd like to be able to add more flavours to the range. We haven't been able to do that yet, but um, with, an, with an investment, we'd hopefully get a, a food scientist on board. You have the sticker on the front of your pack saying sure. 10, 10 grams of protein. And then on the back, you're saying high in protein. So there's very specific legislation around yeah. claims on protein. Yeah, we... So are you a source of protein or are you high of protein? Uh, is that the same? No, it's very different. Well, we used a specialist in, in so everything we have on the label, and um, we've right. had to, we've had to get that passed. Okay. But it's not a protein milk then. It's naturally high in protein. But milk is same, actually a really rich. So it's the same level of protein as I would get out of a, a low-fat milk. Uh, it's it is it's it's around the same. Yeah. Has the confusion over the sources of protein in their chocolate milk left a sour taste? Where I'm at is, I, I believe with Keith Earl's face on this product, I think it's going to go well, I want it to go well, but it doesn't fit in my particular portfolio at the moment, so uh, I'm going to reluctantly say I'm out. Thank you. Okay. Mary and Doni, I love your story. Dairy farmers have, have been suffering poor prices for milk for years in this country. It's great to see somebody try and take control and, and take power back and add value added to milk. I'm nervous about your price difference from your nearest competitor. It's going to hold you back. I don't want you to give up or to stop what you're doing. I have to say reluctantly, I'm out. Thank you, Eleanor. For me, there is a ceiling on the sales due to your price point. So for that reason, I'm out. I think, you know, there are stages in a company's development and you've taken it through the startup stage to the point now where it's time to scale it. But your strategy needs to evolve as your business evolves. That's not to say you haven't got everything right up to now. You've done a great job up to now. But I'm just saying, if you're really going to scale this, I would focus on the brand and the marketing and not on the manufacturing. That's not your core. It's this story that you have, this brand about natural, this brand about fitness. So that's where I'd invest, but I won't invest in your strategy that you have right now. So I'm out. Thank you. With an emphasis on health, wellness and strong family business values, has Alison heard enough to make Mary and Doni an offer? I love the story. I love the authenticity. It's the ultimate story of taking it from the source direct to the consumer. But I would need to see more vision for the 
for the whole range and developing it into something that's not just chocolate milk or even flavoured milk, but taking that story further. And I haven't seen enough on the, the overall vision that would lead me to believe that 100K is going to give me a, a return that I'd need on it. So unfortunately, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we're a small company, so it's easy to manoeuvre and it's easy to ch change strategy. It was always in our plans to bring the, down the price because, you know, we, we don't want to rob the consumer mm. at all. I thought it was looking good at one stage. Mm. Does it make us or break us if, if today wasn't the great day? Wouldn't it be great, though, if, if we could breed a culture of farmers in this country looking at taking their, their core product, whether it's milk or eggs or cheese or whatever, and, and just developing on? as opposed to this out-of-control feeling that other people tell you how much you get it's paid. It's encouraging, very encouraging. <laughs>